Chase Only Hockey here at the Blue Food Challenge out of the theaters. Official competition. Even though this was like in a lot of festivals in 2021, it has Antonio Banderas, Penelope Cruz, it's from Spain. Is it worth your time to try to find this on Voodoo? Let's find out. <laughs> So official competition, what's about a very simple premise, actually, you have a very, very rich pharmaceutical guy that's like, I want to put something out in the world to prove a point. So he's like, I'm going to fund a movie based off a book. Penelope Cruz is the director of this. And you have Oscar Martinez, as well as Antonio Banderas playing in this movie. And the whole point of this movie is Penelope Cruz doing pre-production with these two actors to get to the perfect spot for this movie. So did I like this movie? Being a dark comedy and keeping the audience entertained, that's probably, I think, one of the hardest things to do because it's just dialogue, it's just comedy, and there's no action set pieces or just oh shit moments. Okay, there's one oh shit moment in this movie, but it completely works. I had a fantastic time with this movie. Huge thumbs up. Unfortunately, I wish it was like an Oscar-nominated movie for, you know, this year for, what would it be, international? But I think it was for next, last year. I don't know, but anyway... What I like about the film, I love the acting. Antonio Banderas, Penelope Cruz, Oscar Martinez, if I've seen his name correctly, did a fantastic job with this movie. They are basically in every single scene of the movie, and they shine. Hilarious dialogue, hilarious set pieces, especially with the one with The Rock, one with like AMSR, with kissing. That was a little bit awkward, though. That one, it went a little bit too long, in my opinion, for what it was trying to go for, but I understand the whole gist of it. And the whole message of the movie about two actors, Antonio Banderas is kind of like the whole, you know, happy-go-lucky actor that will do any project and has fun with his job. And it's basically like, yo, I could be an actor, but I'm also here to have fun. Then you have the Oscar Martinez character who's like, the world needs more lawyers, needs more electricians and plumbers. We don't need more actors. And he's like prestigious. Like, I'm almost like, even though he is kind of the character that tries to be down to earth, his pretensions is so high up. He's like, oh. I'm better than all of them, and I don't need all that high-class stuff. I'm a coach type of person, but your personality is like, yeah, you seem like a little dick or something because if no one's on your level, you think acting is like so prestige that you're just like, yo, calm the fuck down. You got to think about actor-wise, I would say that character in American Standard would be like Daniel Day-Lewis when it comes to like being a character actor. And Antonio Banderas would just be like almost like Chris Pratt. All right, Antonio Banderas, who's like, you know what? I'm here to have fun. Acting's a silly gig. It's not that serious of a job. Like, even Danzel Washington says it. And I have all these people that are just like, yo, like, it's acting. Calm down. And so that dynamic of both those in this movie is pitch perfect and absolutely hysterical. The oh shit movement <laughs> happens at the very end. And when it happened, you, the audience laughs. But you laugh and you're like, oh, that's the outcome. I shouldn't be laughing. That's so fucked up. And when you have a script, the director and the actors doing it that extremely well done, you just had to applaud them because I just had a fantastic time with the movie. Like I said, some negatives, though, would be, like, the kissing scene over is overbearing. And you're just like, okay, that needed to be in it. That was a little bit too long. And sometimes at the very end, you understand the message of the movie, but you're like, ooh, whose side am I on? And that, like, makes the audience go, ooh, should I be on that person's side or that person's side? So that maybe not, might not be a negative for some people. It really wasn't for me. Like I said, it could be a negative for some. But you're just like, yeah. All most characters in this movies are kind of dicks. So you could be like, yeah, I wish there's a little bit more favorable character in this movie. But they all have their own niches of being like, yeah, weird. And there's also a weird dance sequence in this movie when Penelope Cruz is in a bed and watching a girl doing a dance. And you're just like, okay, that's just a little awkward. So there are awkward moments in this film where you're just like, hmm, I understand what you're going for, but it doesn't work for me. But overall, official competition, I laughed. I had a great time. I was like, okay, an hour and 55 minutes. My God, that hour and 55 minutes went by so quick. And when you have good snippy dialogue like this and just bombastic just scenarios as well as camera angles that change, especially when you do this one take, you're so curious about this pre-production of this film and where it's going to head. So official competition, if you can find it on Voodoo, watch it because it is that good and that fun of a movie to watch. So official competition will receive a four and a half out of five of futons, which equals that 90%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. So you have critics a 96% with 190, 49 of them. Audience scored 84% with over 100. Here's critic consensus. 
Its premise may resonate most with hardcore film fans, but official com competitions, tight focus, and sharp humor have a universal appeal. So this technically came out in limited releases in the USA, June 17, 2022. I, don't, I think it came out in Spain in February, so maybe it could be nominated for an Oscar this year. I would not be mad if it is able to be nominated. Because I don't know like the rules or anything. Cause it was like in TIFF last year, 2021. So who knows? Anyway, you have the 96, my 80, or sorry, I'm drunk right now. So we have the 96, my 90, and the 84. Chase Talk with the Blue Food Tone. Like, comment, subscribe. Well, I'm the only thing is Blue Tone Topia. You're Blue Tone. Thank you for watching my fantastic day. And yeah, it, it's a great movie. I think it deserves an Oscar nomination. It's that good, in my opinion. Thank <laughs> you.